That's because we live in LA. Yeah. But I, so every, what I grew up, in, where I grew up, and the I mean, population can make on the, on the society. No, that, right. That that too. Right. So there's uh, a couple slides that Rick. Did you want to talk about these or? Okay. Yes, please. Okay. Um, so when I was researching API month, there was like a ton of information. When I was researching Jewish Heritage Month, there was not very much. Um, and I think that kind of says something. Um, you know, like the video said, it's the Jewish population is really only I think two percent. Mm -hmm. um, but for those of us, like I grew up in a great Jewish community, I am Jewish. Um, that's not those in LA is very heavily populated. Um, it's, a very, it's a diverse community. I think it's important just to keep in mind, just because you see everything here and you're so used to it. Um, you know, anti-Semitism is on the rise <coughs> in the United States, especially within the last like six, seven years. Um, so it's just something I think to be aware of. Consciousness is everything. Yeah. It's the start of learning, right? Yeah. Uh, so uh, there's a uh, talk on Wednesday the 31st. Yeah, um, so it was just, this was one of the events that I could find um, that hasn't actually passed, but it's, it is uh, in person and it's also online. Um, and it just, you know, the, the panel is just talking about the impact that um, Jewish Americans have had on our culture and on our country. So, and that is in Beverly Hills, um, put on by the city of Beverly Hills. There should be a municipal gallery. Uh, okay. Yeah. Excellent. On the 31st. Thank you, Rachel. Thank you, Florida. Thank you, Tracy. Thank you. Uh, also, oh, I just talked about Federation. Um, so, Jewish Federation is a nationwide um, organization that has local chapters in probably every major metropolitan city. Um, and it's just a organization that um, it's a nonprofit organization that they promote education, they have um, social services, they are a big philanthropic um, organization, and they also put on a lot of events. So if you're unfamiliar with Federation, uh, you should look into it. Uh, they're right here on La Cienica and Wilshire, I believe. Yeah. It's where it's where it's a leader in real estate and construction network. Yes. Say that one more time. They have a huge real estate and construction network. Except, so what, it, how does that show up in a meeting? In a uh, they, uh, meeting <coughs> network. Excellent. So if anybody couldn't hear, uh, Maury said the Jewish Federation has um, a, a very large uh, uh, real estate and construction uh, networking events. Uh, if you're interested in uh, in and connecting with people on on that plane, then you should uh, show up to it. Right? Excellent. Excellent opportunity. Yeah. There are a lot of all right. Excellent. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Good reminder, you can't always tell if someone's Jewish just by their skin color. My husband's religion. Sure. It's, it's all different <laughs> races. He and looks like a brother. Backgrounds. You never know. <laughs> yeah. Excellent. All right. Dessert. Uh, ah, diversity cake yeah. mix. Speaking of which, uh, on that theme, Saturday, June tenth. Uh, to be a location to be determined. Let me ask you this. Yeah, oh, Rock, okay. Roxbury Park. Yes. yes. And you guys, I don't see a lot of signups. Um, this is like a real great opportunity for us to bond and to learn more about each other. So please sign up to potluck um, to the picnic. Um, remember, if you are coming, bring something to sit on if you'd like. There will be tables and chairs, but if you want to bring soccer chairs or you want to bring a blanket, you can bring family. But just remember, we're going to be having some important conversations and activities. So if those family members are a huge distraction, maybe maybe, maybe not yeah, bring the them. Conversations <laughs> are, are not. Uh, it's not. I, I wouldn't say it's heavy. No, but it they no, can it's, get it's deep. Enriching. Yes. And, yes. And, uh, and definitely. Yes. I agree. True, Joey. Wear something. I don't want to create a barrier for anybody. No, but, be, you know, but it's, it's, it's you know, fun. It, it is fun. Diversity is fun. It is fun, but you know, <laughs> if, if you can't participate because you have to, you know, you're distracted, then that'll be, you know, you're going to lose a little something there. Also, wear something that reflects your culture, if you'd like, or your um, ethnic background, or where you're from, if you'd like to do that. If you have, we have some games and activities planned, but if you have something 
you want to suggest, don't be afraid. We are not scary. Don't, don't be afraid to submit those to us. <laughs> and we need a couple people to hang out afterwards and help clean up. Uh, it should be easy, paper goods. We suggest whatever you're potlucking, bring it in like a tin foil. Sorry to you know be a bad recycling person, but you know something disposable or that you're willing to take back home. Um, and that's it in terms of announcements. Questions? Can I can I say something? Of yes. You okay. First, thank you very much for that. Um, bit about Jewish Heritage Month. I, I very much appreciate it. What was that? Your connection is, uh, is, is bad. Say that again, Mama. Say it again. I said I, wanna, I wanted to say thank you for that section on Jewish Heritage Month. I really appreciated it. And can you hear me? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. And the other thing is I really want to help Lorna and Tracy push this diversity picnic. I think it's very important. Unfortunately, I'm going to be out of town, but I was there last year and I think it's amazing. And I'm real I feel really bad that I won't be here, but I think it's very important for all of us uh, to participate in it and put our money where our mouth is. Actually, when we all promote diversity, we need to support it by being there. Thanks, Michelle. Thanks, Michelle. And, and, and not to leave out Rachel because she's uh, joined our committee and is a big part of it and has been Absolutely. making amazing contributions. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, no, it's I right. can't <laughs> see. So I just want to make sure she's letting everybody know. Too. Totally fine. <laughs> All right. Okay. More to come on the diversity picnic, but sign up. It's, a, it's an event that went up. It, there is, I'm sure, something went out in every... Oh, y'all don't know nothing? Okay. So we're okay. going to make sure that that happens. Yes. So, guys, yes. I'm sorry. It come from? It, I thought it came from Atati, but I'm... Okay, so this fantasize. is what's going to happen. We're going to have a new link that will come out where you can register to attend and also register to indicate what you want to bring. Yes, yes. and your food Perfect. selection should re reflect your... Ethnicity, diversity, thoughts, whatever. Something. Excellent. All right. Uh, absolutely. Absolutely. We'll, we'll, we'll have, you know, next week we have our, uh, our new agent services. Very, very excited. Wow. Wow. Next week we have our new agent services uh, starting. And we're Excellent. very, very excited to have you then. Uh, starting, uh, he will hit the ground running because he's done this job before. He's and a notary? Very, very high level. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, Melody, what was that? I, I saw a notary in the thing. Like, oh, like, she's in her own space. <laughs> Focus on Joe. Yeah. Melanie, uh, this size for Melanie. <laughs> Melanie's not here, but Melanie's going to be. Uh, there's a, a Pic Pico Festival uh, on May 21st on uh, uh, Pico and uh, uh, and Shelby. Shelby. She's on. Shelby. She's trying to talk. Hey, dude. Can I announce it? Hello? Say it loud, Mama. Can you hear me? You got it. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, barely. Oh, hi. Okay, next time. Hi, everybody. Okay, Melanie, I'm going to fill in for you, so all right? this Sunday from 11 to 3, that's uh, the Pick Pico Festival. It's sponsored by the City of Los Angeles. Mayor Karen Bass is going to be there. Katie Yaroslavsky from CD5. Oh. Uh, to be next to the LA City Planning Department. So if you have any questions about the zoning changes, uh, come them. on over. <laughs> and um, I'm going to have someone at my booth drawing uh, portraits of people. I'm going to have cookies. And uh, just come in. I'll have a big like poster about um, like funny see the notaries. And it just would be great to see all of you. Oh, sorry, what? Yeah, you just oh, it's for kids. Uh, bring your dogs or kids. It's free. There's singing, music, dancing, and food to buy. And it would just be great to see you guys there. I've been a volunteer on the committee for a couple of years. So that's great, Melanie. Thank, thank, you. thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. I'm, going I'm so coming, busy. but I'm coming to the office. Sunday. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Melanie. Thank you. All right, next we have. Make a camp. 
Mega camp. Mega camp. Mega camp. Mega agent camp. Austin, Texas, 15th through the 16th of August. I'll be there. I think Christine is going to be there. Party too. We are the party train. Who else said that? Charlotte's going? Yeah. Oh, bring it down. Christine gives me a ride to the airport. I'll give you a ride to the airport. You don't need her. The flights are already changing. Like, What's that mean? Options of times of flight. Yeah. So yeah, so, I mean, there's ten limits. Okay. Let's go. All right. Okay, let's go before, <laughs> before it goes up. And the hotels are cheaper on hotels.com. Hotels.com. I use uh, the, Hotel Tonight too. Then through the oh, yeah. link. Yeah. On yeah. And you say it. They have Jane. <laughs> taste. I don't like their hotels. I don't like their taste. Uh, Christina is saying that if you're oh yeah, it's free and ready. What was the question? Oh, for uh, paying tickets, look at skystandard.net. Sky Standard? Skystandard.net. Sky but turn your VPN off and go on private. Right. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm in. What was that? I'm so Sky scared. Standard. <laughs> but you have to turn off your uh, VPN because. And then go on private. Private. So go incognito. And what? I'm so sorry. I'm so. Uh, like, it's just for. Twice. Oh, twice. twice. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Some, sometimes they charge you more because of where you are in the country. <laughs> like they figure people from Los Angeles can afford more, so they just charge us a little bit more. All right. Uh, Mega Camp. Six ninety nine right now, but it will go up August 15th through 20th. Uh, 15th through 6th. And it's 15th and 16th. Oof. Uh, all right. Next is. <coughs> Upcoming classes, the morning show. What can we say? We what? can say a lot. Come and get it. Come and get it. All right. <laughs> Representing uh, every day, Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 9.30. It's a party for all. All are welcome. Next is the... Do, 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 do. All right, Christy. What's Christy teaching this week? Tomorrow's win with fires. Win with sellers on Friday, work with buyers and sellers, putting it all together on Monday, make and receive offers, negotiate offers on uh, Wednesday. Bring it. Ooh, bring it. All right. Uh, -ba -ba. Scott's classes this week. Nurture your database, DocuSign 201 uh, on Friday, and then uh, Monday, command overview, uh, referrals, referral overviews on Tuesday, and then my KW overview on um, on Wednesday. Guys, we're getting. I don't. I don't want to beef it up too much, but uh, Ethan is a, a command wizard. Our new agent services, so he will be uh, able to fill in a lot of gaps in knowledge and education. Mm. We're gonna get more. Excellent. Yay. All right. Next. Open houses in command. John Morris, our regional, um, our regional tech trainer. John is so good. He's going to be teaching about open houses and, and using command in open houses. There's a way that you can use a, a, a pad to have people sign in and uh, also oh, uh, also create cute. Let's try it again. Create a QR code that uh, that people can scan and it prompts them to sign into your um, to your uh, to your database there and uh, gives them the information for the house and gives you their information. Ooh, it's a win-win. It's a win-win. It's a new feature. It's a new feature. Yeah, like a, a yeah. It's amazing that it's like that. John's going to teach it May 23rd. Wow. Can I All say right. something about QR codes? I used it my last open house. My husband creates them. Uh huh. I don't know how I got the letter. Anyway, so, but um, mine has my little symbol in it too, which is kind of cool. My little house symbol is on my signs. Mm -hmm. But people came in, they scanned that, got to my website. And then at the last open house, it happened to be a lease. And you know how on leases, they have to scan that uh, rent screen, right? Mm -hmm. So he actually made the other QR code be the direct rent screen link. So I didn't have to like send everything to each person individually. They came up, boom, and they got it. Mm -hmm. So it's really convenient. So take that confusing explanation that Tracy just gave. <laughs> And John's going to teach you how to do it. Boom, boom, boom! It's great. It's great. Okay. <laughs> Damn, Joey. Damn. Oh, I'm on a roll today. Okay. Keep it moving. All right. 
John! <laughs> Why is consultation? Samantha, yeah. you want to talk about it? Yeah, I'm going to do, I'm just going to brief over you. I know Christy goes really into the buyer consultation, but I think buyer qualifying and a basic buyer consultation has been missing for a while for a lot of people. They're like, let me just set you up on the MLS and send you listings. And that's really not what we're here for. We're not just, uh, you know, MLS connections. So I just thought we'd go through it. The Zoom, just I caution people for the Zoom classes. I think that. Uh, Come and get it. Come in person. I agree. Well, and, and, and here's the thing. Why wouldn't you give your buyers the same level of attention and, and purposefulness that you give your sellers, right? I mean, we, 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 we minimize the experience for buyers. It, it's so important. Guess what? Buyers become sellers too. Right, and they're judging you on this experience. You get the opportunity to 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 show the standards of your business, and let's not have it just be putting you up on a uh, on a search and uh, letting you uh, self satisfy. Right? Okay. You can give them what you want. Absolutely, everything you wanted to know about being a buyer. I explain it really. Anyway. <laughs> 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 it wasn't confusing, Tracy. You were absolutely laser focused. Uh, That's before next, the meeting next week. Before the meeting, for, uh, so ten o'clock uh, next Wednesday. Perfect. All right. Ah, oh my. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm going to teach a class on simple multi-family property evaluation. I don't, uh, I, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, RSVP on Eventbrite. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, talk to Atati. Yeah. We'll dump it on her. Yeah. Uh, so that is Thursday. Next Thursday, I'll be teaching it between one and two. Just a simple way of, 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 of determining value of multifamilies and smaller multifamilies, too. Um, Good. All right. So, so that's in Zoom or in person? that is that's in person because you, you're, you're actually working with a spreadsheet. So, yeah, we'll have more. <laughs> and we'll have water. Yes. <laughs> one would hope we uh, one would hope we would have it by next week. Uh, there you go. All right. Uh, it's in person here. It's in person here. Yeah. Right. Uh, the one thing. Next Wednesday, Chrissy's going to be teaching the breakout class uh, on the one thing. It, it, has anybody in here read the one thing? Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. Yes. It's a great, great. It's it's a it's a when I say it's a small book with big ideas, right? And those ideas, a lot of them uh, we already know already, but the formalization of of the information is really, really compelling. And it's, uh, it's, it's, about, it's, it's about life management, not business, well, business is part of life management, right? It's not about real estate directly, but indirectly, absolutely. Oh, I needed a soundtrack. <laughs> uh, so Christy's gonna be teaching that between 10 and 12 on uh, next Wednesday, right? Is that next Wednesday the 31st or is that the Wednesday after that? That's the Wednesday after that. It's the Wednesday after, it's two weeks. Uh, I would uh, I would absolutely encourage you guys to get on there, um, at least for half of that, and then come to the meeting for the other half. Uh, next Wednesday, uh, two Wednesdays from now. All right, great. And I would encourage you all to read the book or listen to it book on tape because it's super digestible. Um, next is, I might even have a CD of it. That you can rip. <laughs> I think I do. Yeah, CDs, holy bananas. You gotta find something to play on. <laughs> uh, uh, Andy, Andy, oh, Andy is teaching the class. I don't know if she's on here. She's teaching the class in the West Side right now. Ben, how's it going, buddy? Awesome. You, How are you guys? I heard that uh, Andy's That's, class is tomorrow, all right? Andy's class that she's teaching to. It, uh, it's tomorrow. Andy's it's class. FHAs, right? It's, uh, it's different types of loan pro programs. Different types of loan programs. Right. Different types of loan programs. Ben, what do you got? <laughs> I was actually expecting Andy. Um, let's get the rotation here. Uh -huh. um, how, how's everybody? Um, hope everybody's doing well. Quick, quick um, update for you guys. 
The LA County Assessor's Office, in case you guys didn't know, are now doing e-notifications for property own owner information um, updates. In other words, if you um, you know purchase a property, if you have a new loan, anything that's that's been posted on on the on the property, typically you would get a a letter in the mail. And in this case now, you can actually go on their website. It's, it's on the front page of the LA County Assessor's off, um, Office website and sign up for an e-notification. And I'm telling you this because, you know, one, we want to, we want information. If in, anybody's trying to put fraud on our property and so on, but also a good talking point for you to reach out to your sphere of influence um, and let them know of, of the new offering. So that's out there. Um, any questions regarding that? It's a paperless uh, option. Is that what you're saying? Paperless option. It was never done this way before. In other, you know, before when you when somebody like put a lien on your property or something like that, you wait maybe six, seven days before it comes through the mail. Now it's automatic. You, you just put your email in there, and they'll be able to send it to you um, directly. Get that bad news faster. Is that what it comes <laughs> down to? Well, you know, more more, more so. Awareness is important. There's, there's no reason to hide. Yeah. Absolutely. Thanks, Ben. All right, guys. Thank you. Thanks, buddy. Mary Kay, uh, are you here, Mary? No, I saw Mary this way. Well, there she goes. She's outside today. Hi, Mary. You're going to have to take off your um, your mute. Unmute yourself. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. I just did. Yes. How yes. Are you doing? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. I just saw Joey in another meeting. Yes, Joey, and every Wednesday I'm going to see you twice then. West side and you, right? And then here and here, which is awesome. Hi, everybody. It's Mary Kay from Advanced Group Property Inspections. Yes, I'm working from outside today, trying to declutter. I'm learning more about every year how important decluttering is. So, I mean, I'm trying to fix the backyard so we can enjoy it. Um, but I wanted to give it some attention. So they, my backyard knows that I'm still proud of it. Um, so advanced group inspections, seven days a week service. Um, I just want you to please, please, please remember that whoever you're hiring, if it's not us, please do more homework than you usually do because we're getting phone calls of doing second inspections on, on the ones that someone else did. And now they're finding problems. And now, you know, they're taking them to court. So we don't even know about that. They're asking us to do the inspection. We go do it. And then we're just salmon to be, Alex is going to one uh, this week because he found problems that somebody else didn't find. And um, so just know that with us, you're not going to have the problem. We're going to be thorough. Nobody's going to come tell you we didn't, they didn't check this. They didn't check that. And uh, please, please tell your buyers to please ask before they ask a price ask services price doesn't just it doesn't give you justice on the service so they ask you oh how much is it and they all care about is how much is this worth please educate them about qualifications ask them to ask about licensing ask them about insurance about you know how long have they been doing it do they do repairs that's how these lawsuits are starting because what they do is they just call a random or whatever they want to, you know, hire. And then they find out that they miss stuff. Now they go back to them and say, look, you missed a plumbing or a foundation problem. And they say, look, I have a clipper in a truck. I have no insurance. I mean, I can't do anything. And they walk out. But with us, please remember, we're there all the way. A Absolutely. Year from Mary. Year from is not, uh, is not determined by, uh, well, sometimes it is determined by price, but, but pricing is not, uh, is, is not an indicator of, uh, of, of, of the, the result that you'll get, right? And, and uh, oftentimes people who lead with, uh, with the cost factor are uh, selling themselves short in so many, so many ways, right? Yes, but it's not like we're not competitive, we are. We have, yeah. you know, prices are not higher than anyone else, but what the inspector companies are doing now, they're slashing their prices sure. because low, they want to get the business and buyers yeah. think, oh my God, I saved $200 here, but just know on the long run with a qualified inspection company, your buyer makes more money because now they find the problems. Now they know what they're going to fix. It's not a surprise. They don't just close that and find out, oh my God, my roof is leaking or, or whatever the problem is. And now you are dealing with a buyer who's not happy with you because of the inspection. And so even if you didn't refer them, 
they, they say, well, you know, you should have told me that there's no license required. You should have guided me. So what you can do with your buyers who want to go on their own, please send them our website, agpic.com. I'll put it in the website, my chat and say, look, learn more about the qualification of an inspection company because that's what we have in there and CC to you. So if they come back and say, look, well, I hired somebody that now they're not fixing stuff. Now, what are you going to do? You have proved that you did give them the educational tool. So now, like I said, in the other meeting, more than ever, we're getting phone calls about complaints with buyers that, well, my realtor didn't tell me. I didn't know there's no license required. I want you to come and do it again because, you know, I'm, I have a problem. I have foundation problem. I have roof problem. And always remember, you guys, we have all these amazing specialists that we can refer you, even the geologist. Phase one, phase two, we don't make a penny out of them. We're not affiliated with them. We just have these amazing companies that we know of, you know, throughout the years. And if they're not here, now we find another. <clears throat> they can save you. They can be honest with you. They don't make something bigger than what it is. And you, you know, you'll have a lot of great people to refer later. So we're here. We're here for you 24-7. Yeah, I agree. I agree. So, you know, it, and, and, and to that, I'll just add one more thing, and that is um, in the, if you have a client who has a special need, let me start with, no, let me back up. I don't understand why realtors are negotiating prices for, yeah. uh, for, for inspectors, for escrow, for... Eh, you, it's it you want you want a quality team right and 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 in that you want people who you can depend on to get the to offer the same uh, standard of service that you offer and and uh, to to get the result that the best result possible right and 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 if that's uh, property inspections if it's escrow uh, you know you 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 get what you pay for in these services. So um, so so I would encourage you not to um, negotiate for your clients. But if you have a client who has a special need, That's and you special. have a, a a partner like Mary or Larchmont Escrow or Andy, it, ask. The, you know, oh, oh, they're on a really tight budget. They're 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 you know they're losing money. Whatever whatever it is, right? Just ask. And if and if you have this relationship, then it should be a no-brainer, right, Mary? Yes, and hundred percent. And I was, thank you for putting this time for me today. Um, and and what many realtors do, they'll call me. I'll give them I'll give them the price, and I also explain to them the situation of an inspection industry. And at the end, they'll say, "Yeah, I got it," but my client wants the cheapest price. So, or I need to give all the prices to the client instead of saying, oh, wow, let me see if the other companies that I'm going to have prices from, let me see if they're as qualified yeah. as you. They'll say, oh, I'm sure they are. Th yeah. that's, that's the answer. And again, yeah. if we, like the other day, there was another, uh, you know, Keller Williams offer. Okay. I don't mean to cut you short, but, but we, have, uh, we have some other stuff yeah, yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Hold on to that anecdote. Yeah, yeah. No, they asked me for this discount. She's a single mom. I did. So just... Ask me, you know, they say if the baby doesn't fall, the mother doesn't fit it. So I'm here. I love you guys. Thank you. Big love. Thank you. All right. Uh, Raha's here. Yeah, yeah girl. <laughs> oh, I love that purse. Yeah, yeah. 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 your purse is so yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. I have this thing. Oh, thank you. Uh, well, today I wanted to bring up two things that were big this week uh, for a lot of different, um, or many files. Uh, one, I want to start compliance-wise, and then we'll talk about the other one. You got to out us. Yeah. Uh -huh. On and out us. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is not about you guys, but uh, I'm going to talk about something else. So when you have buyers or sellers that sign uh, in a representative capacity for, let's say, an LLC, a trust, let's say I have an LLC and I've named it, I love real estate LLC, okay? And then Joey has a trust and the trust name is Pizza for Life trust right with the four um so we're seeing uh signatures and initials with numbers in them right because through car as you write it in as the seller pizza for life right trust 
I'm just saying this so everybody will remember, so it's funny, it's hypothetical. Um, and if you do it through car, you send for signatures, then the seller will sign pizza for life trust, right? Mm -hmm. This cannot happen. You need the seller or your client to sign with their name in the representative capacity. So let's say it's Joey Sakovich, trustee, right? So we need to make sure that all paperwork are signed with their names. And there's a section on the RPA, the Residential Purchase Agreement, where you can add this information so you don't have to have the representative capacity signature form. But if you do not have it written out already, then we do require this form. But the most important part is have them sign as their name, which makes sense if you think about the pizza, right? Mm -hmm. We don't want numbers in the initials. Joey Sackovich, trustee. Yes. Does that make sense? Yeah. That's one thing. Wait, do you want the title on the signature or just the name? It, it, the way you write it, and I, ask, I get this question a lot too, so you could write the full trust name on there and have them sign with their name, or you could put Joey Sakovich, comma, trustee on the... It's yeah. a poor life, Joey Sakovich, trustee. No, I get that, but when they're signing, do you want them to... Just to be clear, when you're sign when they're signing, do you want them to say Tracy Bates, comma trustee? Is that how you want that on the signature line, or just Tracy Bates? It doesn't matter. Okay, okay. either both work. As yeah, long as it's right. yeah. important. As long as it's your name, right? Yeah. And okay. there is you a field add. on the form that asks like what the title. Yeah, is. So, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. We just don't want them because we don't know who's signing that, even mm -hmm. if you have the other four. Right. We just want to make sure that oh, this is who signed it. Mm -hmm. So that's important. Um, Can I ask you another, another yeah. way to think of that is an entity, an LLC, a trust, they cannot sign, they do not have hands no. to sign. Right. <laughs> it is a person who is signing. different requirements but let's talk about the city of Los Angeles and the certificate of compliance which you need is required by law when you close your file it has to be there so let's say when you have multi units you have tenants that you're dealing with and there's a lot of things going on and what I always you know have seen agents do is when you have your inspection scheduled have a retrofitter come out there and give their estimate and maybe do the work if it's you know needed for it to be in compliance, then you have that done. Because what if you can't get into the tenant's unit, it causes delays and you need it As before you close. Representative, right. You should have them come out while the buyers are doing their inspections. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So it's that's not, a good way. It's not the buyer's responsibility. No. Retrofit is not buyer's responsibility because why would you have somebody do work on your property that doesn't own the right sometimes you can shift it sometimes you can well let me ask you a question and then there are instances where for example <laughs> instances in the contract where it's not specified who pays for retrofit right what do we do that so it's usually and most commonly paid by the seller so if you're representing the seller and or the buyer, just make sure that you have that handled or negotiated for however, whoever's going to pay for it. Someone has to pay for it. If they're going to split it or the seller pays for it, it has to be negotiated in your deal. Which because is, it's not, it's not important. There's a state mandate. Right, a local and ordinance. A local ordinance. The state and the local are now pretty much in the same. Yeah. But, yeah, I would say. Yeah. Um, you also don't want to have to have the appraiser come back twice because you don't have smoke alarms. Right. So the sooner you do this, because it's important for the, and then if the seller says that they don't want to incur that expense before, they have to because they have to be in compliance. The tenants shouldn't have faulty smoke detectors or anything like that. And really quickly, it changes 
like very frequently the requirements. And I learned this recently in selling a house I sold two years ago that I'm now listing. The smoke alarms have to be in a different location now than they were two years ago. Oh, really? Six feet away from the vents. So now each room has two smoke detectors in it because the one that was near the vent is considered corrupt. So just so you know, these things change really quickly, even if you did it recently. And you don't want to find that out on the day or week of closing. So you want to be as prepared as possible. And a wrong law has advanced. We're going to have a wrong Oh, yeah. Go on. No, you don't. Oh. Um, no question. Oh, yeah. Should we do yeah. the question first and I'll so go back? So I guess this is my phone for the original fit. Um, would it suck if the newer fit was a little bit more Retrofit, sometimes they confuse. Yeah. Oh, yes. Thank you. Yeah. And so, just as agents that have been around in business for a yeah. while, if you can kind of like help out, we're going to have a class. Oh, we're going to have a different term for. Yeah. 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 So, that, that's another thing. Thanks for bringing that up. But every time I ask, has the retrofit been done? They're like, oh, yeah, we got the city report, the 9A already, but that's two separate, that's different. So you have to make sure if you have the city report in, which is also a great thing to get in the beginning, yep. um, but it's totally different. And we're going to have um, a retrofit company, LA Low Flush, come out here if you guys would be interested in just hearing what the requirements are and then uh, how they work and kind of how you can work together. Uh, we can have them come in on Zoom or in person, and, but they'll be at one of the meetings uh, so that they could go over the different requirements. There's also a terminology. There's a terminology issue. When most people use the word retrofit, they're talking about earthquake retrofit. That's yeah. not what this is. This mm -hmm. is low flow toilets, smoke alarms, uh, grates on windows, mm -hmm. stuff like that. Water heater, yeah. This retrofit so, I usually refer to it as retrofit compliance, yep. like just to the yep. Scrapping of the water yeah. yeah. But I know sometimes when, when you use that term with a client, they go, yeah. well, my house isn't bolted. Yeah. It has nothing to do with that. It's right. It's not one of the state mandated retrofits. We'll, we'll get into that. Thank you. Next Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Rob. Um, thank, you. thank you. Excellent, as usual. You have some fans, apparently. <laughs> All right, uh, birthdays. Uh, Thomas Robinson this week, Serge Tron this week, Connor Thaxter, uh, Marcus Brooks, and Philip Minter. All have birthdays this week. Happy birthday, you guys. Uh, kick, uh, 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 yeah, check out uh, Connor Thaxter. Oh, it's actually yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, how yeah. Yes. Connor yes. James yes. on Spotify. Yes. 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 All right. Uh, Beautiful photos, ladies. Uh, is that me? Uh, who did those? Bless them. All right. Uh, you did it again. Who's now on for the rest of their anniversary year? You can drop like that next time. Okay. Uh, and, and, uh, <laughs> Oh, anyway. It was a death drop, I was thinking <laughs> but, uh, but, uh, congratulations, ladies. Thank for you. Another, another Thank productive you. year. You get, uh, you get, uh, you get, uh, more hats. Oh, yeah. Hats. We, have we have a collection. All your family members can wear Everybody can wear I can't fit right? any of them. My head is way too big. Yeah. That's big. <laughs> Top of the hair, I guess that's it. Yeah. Uh, well, we'll get you. We'll try to. No, no, it's cute. We'll get you a sewing. Charlotte never got a cap. Oh, Charlotte. No, I don't want one. I've never gotten a cap. She can, right. but she's not going to receive it. Why can't this we have not this your moment? moment. <laughs> Do you know what's going on? Shut up. I'm going to get a cap. I'm going to get a cap. I'm going to get a cap. Lorna and Tracy. Yes, Joey. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. These are for higher quality, too. They have like a I like high quality. quality. Thank you. Love it. Thank you. Love you. Love you, best, baby, baby. Mm -hmm. oh, so much. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So much. So I would just say, oh, this is Rick, wonderful, and you guys just keep on trucking because the year before, 
<laughs> so you just just yeah. take past that year, go on to the next year and see what happens. Well, right. yeah, and, and I want to say something too because it did suck last year. Real estate sucked last year in general. Yeah. And and then we were compounded, and I've mentioned this before, by some personal challenges. Yeah. Challenges. Um, each of us. Um, and so it was rough last year and we made it through last year but it was hard also getting going this year mm -hmm. so we finally are on the right path um and now we're complaining <laughs> <laughs> no, we're on the right path and we don't have a whole lot left in our you know capping at, i think our anniversary is in september um but i'm grateful for this for us because it just means that we're doing the work and we have done the work despite all of the horrific challenges yeah. that we had last year. Yeah. Um, so it does mean a lot, probably more than any other year. Agreed. Yeah. And, and we got a better quality hat as a result. <laughs> Thank you. Exactly. Yeah. Thank you. Um, so love you, and and uh, and I think that uh, you know another thing uh, is I think that engagement is really really important uh, to uh, keeping the, uh, the train moving, right? Even sure. when the train you know has challenges, uh, you know the the um, it, it's important to stay on a track. Yep. Right. Don't disappear. Uh, and I and I mean that is is a support system. Mm -hmm. You are for people, and I hope that people are for you. They are. Right? So, congratulations. Thanks, Thank love. Thank you for your contribution. So for proud of you. Yes. you. The single photo in front of the uh, Oh, uh, the the in front of the, straight, yeah. the different hairstyle. Uh, just you want me in yeah, I want you. Yeah, we want okay. you. Right yeah, we'll get in the middle of something. Oh, wait. Here. Yeah. Oh, I'll get in the middle of this one. Okay. Don't come, come, come. Oh, oh, here. So, so you don't get it. Well, she was just trying to do it. She put in the head on the side, right? When I called the cat. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, let me go. Okay. That's right. Cap. Cap in. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. All right. Okay. All right. All right. Next. And next is close that course this week. Nina Chia on Westchester. <laughs> our lovely Nina. Uh, P. Bonacore on eighth. Uh, Josephine on Hello. North Orange. Uh, Ted Kim had two Molino and scholarship. Okay. Excellent. Ted's uh, brand new. Yep. All right. Uh, new escrows. We have Gina Iberola, Laura Anderson, and Angela Bond. I just saw her peeking around. Uh, and Stewarton. Congratulations. Some closed leases. Matthew Lobby and Christina Kim. Yeah. Congratulations on that. All right. New listings. Come on. Single family. Andrew Keller uh, has a two bed, one bath, 1,459 square feet for uh, 1.295 on Somerset. It's, uh, I believe it's totally redone. At least the grass looks beautifully uh, <laughs> uh, I, I think Andrew did it himself. Uh, so, um, looking forward. No, the grass is The grass too, probably. Uh, next is uh, Tracy Pass. Oh, Big Ben, 5818 Big Ben. <laughs> yeah, I had, um, oh, I can't the lot size. But anyway, the lot size I found out was 9,118. So people were asking Excellent. me about That's that. That's a big one. Yeah, and that little side part where you see the dark fence, that then goes shoop, and there's a huge side part. On um, the other side of the fence? Yeah, uh, yeah, on the other side of the fence and this way. All right. I couldn't really get the whole property in the shop. So um, I'm going to be open this Friday from 11 to 2, Saturday 2 to 5, Sunday 2 to 5. Come by. It is fabulous. It feels so good. The flow. If you haven't seen the video or the pictures, send them to your clients. Um, it's super, super clean. Another client that is meticulous and takes care of their place really well. Um, so come on by. All right. If you have any questions, oh. text me. Blowing <laughs> that up. Uh, <laughs> you can have some snacks. No. Oh, Jesus. Uh, you know what's? It's, 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 it's nice. I gave you, I asked you, I gave you a The house is so ball. beautiful on its own, I don't need to explain Okay, all right, then. that's what the three girls said. All right, uh, 
Come on. <coughs> Next is Pete Bonacore. Oh, really? Roger did. I'm sorry. Two bedroom, two bath, mid-century, 1,308 square feet. We're just under uh, 1.3. He's got, he had it open uh, yesterday. He's going to have multiple offers on that. Like, you know, two double-digit multiple offers on that. It's beautiful. Yeah, beauty. single family. Beauty, beauty, beauty. Yeah, uh, it's a it's a cliffhanger too, though. Way. So it's it's most of it's painful. Did it heal? Like what? Yeah. It's in the hills, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, Peachwood Canyon. Cool. All right, and uh, Pete also has Willow Glen, uh, three bedroom, four bath, three thousand three hundred forty five square feet, or uh, just uh, over, uh, just a smidge under two point one million. Uh, Tiffany Chin, one bedroom, one bath, um, West Fourth in Long Beach. Uh, she would like to sell that uh, sooner than later, so she doesn't have to go down to Long Beach anymore. <laughs> oh, yeah, one, yeah, one, one, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> it, it, is it going to come over four? Yes. I thought so. All right. Wow, that's cute. It's a cute little Yeah. Long Beach is hot. It feels good. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. No, no this is closer to the beach, is yeah. it? Yeah. Leases. Maybe they're I think the water's getting turned on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> Christina, has a property on Mariposa. It's a one bed. One bed, one bed. Uh, one bedroom, one bed, six hundred and fifty-seven square feet for two thousand five hundred. Something needs to shed. Right. Yeah. Uh, hold on, I gotta shut that. So, oh, like, I think it's just really cool. <laughs> You can move forward, Itati. Oh, there she goes. Oh, you need help? We have water now. Oh, yeah. great. Woo! Yeah. I tried to fix it. All right, next we have. <laughs> Christina also has Virgil uh, in the Element Building, three bedroom, two bath, fourteen hundred and eleven square feet for forty one hundred dollars. Uh, and then also on Mar is that the same? It's a different one. one. Mariposa, one bedroom, one bath, six hundred and sixty square feet for twenty seven hundred and fifty dollars. She's got a potpourri of the uh, leases. Heidi Davis, uh, beautiful Sky Valley Road. Uh, four bedroom, six baths, uh, uh, 6,350 square feet for $25,000 a month. It's a beautiful, beautiful property. I think it's owned by a gallery owner, by the last. Annalie, 629 Traction Avenue, uh, two bedroom, two bath, 1,300 square feet for $3,600. These are going to go lease a property. Uh, pocket list is coming soon. What do you have? Come on, Jen. Yeah, he's talking about area 30. Sorry, area 30. I don't know. 
Like, is it is it on the valley side? Like, no, it's no. So it's so it's like kind of in the dock, in deep dock. Okay. And very close to like the Beachwood stairs, so you can cut over okay. to the market and all of that. But then you're technically, kind of, you know, pocketed in the dock. Yeah. So if anyone has does it have views? What's that? Does it have views? It does. It has beautiful. So the third floor, it's basically three floors. The third floor has a beautiful large rooftop back that overlooks like all of the city. It's really pretty. So I mean, it's really special. We're actually not going to go public with it right now because she's warming up to the idea of. Um, you know, she kind of just wants to get some feelers out there, see what the response is. Um, because it's not in turnkey. I mean, it's gorgeous, but it needs a little bit of love. The gardens are like beautiful and everything's in bloom, but the kitchen, like the main kitchen on the main floor, needs an update. It's older, but it's extremely charming, super, super special. I might have somebody for it. So if you want if to. I can preview it. it okay, okay, great. Yeah, like I would, I'm right now, I'm just doing like private showing. So, they um, they don't live here, so if you, oh, okay. if I can see it, I'll yeah, I can send you photos. Yeah, so just reach out to me. I'm John Lana. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Jim. Excellent. Yeah, I've got a pocket listing down in Marina Del Rey. It's on the peninsula. It's a mm -hmm. development opportunity. Mm -hmm. uh, the lot, uh, the house that was there has been knocked down. The owner is living in Atlanta. He's been there for the last seven years trying to get this thing going, and now he's decided he's not coming back to LA. So it's in the marine, it's 2.3. He has all the plans, all the permits ready to issue. It's the ready. <coughs> the foundation has been poured. It's four beds, four baths with a one bedroom guest house above a two car garage, 40 feet to the beach. It's on a Wall Street, right in the Minneapolis. Well, they're going to, you know, they're going to, it's 2.3. He's going to live in LA every day he wants. 2.3, and he's going to have to build it. Yeah. You know, okay, absolutely. That's perfect for a user. Yeah, yeah, yep. yeah, absolutely. Probably worth five once it's done. RTIs are all done. Yeah, yep. Nothing uh, to do with the smart frame. Which so, square footage of the of the, the property is uh, thirty four hundred square feet. And to clarify, it's three beds, three baths with a den in the main house, and then one bed, one bath above the two car garage. Thirty five, thirty four hundred square feet on a like thirty seven hundred square foot lot on a walking street. Cool. Um, Tiffany has a listing that is going live today um, in West Hollywood. It's a two bed, three bath, uh, two story condo. It does have direct access to the garage, but it's a shared garage with the community. It's at least five or six units um, in the community. It listed at one, uh, 1 1.398. Uh, 2150 square feet. Um, it's been mostly updated in like early 2000s style. Um, we're going to be open. Friday, five to seven, Saturday, Sunday, one to four, and then brokers next Tuesday, 11 to two. All right, what else? Anybody else? Anybody online there have uh, coming soon they'd like to share? All right, uh, then you know what's next is wants and needs. Oh, no, 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 So talk to you a little bit about uh, what's going on in the commercial arena. Uh, Chris Foster, president of the Foster Company. We've been on a mission the last eight months trying to get out there and get into all the residential real estate offices and trying to get them to open up to adding commercial real estate to their everyday practice. We believe it's very important, um, even more so as we're moving forward. If you haven't read the news, there's the commercial real estate, specifically the finance arena, is in dire, dire trouble. There's $270 billion of commercial real estate loans being reset as of July 1st of this year to the end of June next year. $270 billion of commercial real estate loans reset, highest in history. What does that mean for you? A couple of things. Get the skill set be in front of clients and you have the opportunity <clears throat> to get out there and list these properties because there's going to be an opportunity. That's number one. Number two, July 1st of next year till the end of 2025. Listen to this number. One trillion, one trillion dollars of commercial real estate loans will be resetting. Huge. 
Fact check it. It's out there. Again, opportunities for you to get out there because there's going to be what we're seeing right now with the trends because of the higher rates, commercial real estate is a, your NOI, your net operating income is, is affected by higher rates. So when these resets are coming, a lot of these commercial guys are, there's, there's, what's going on is this. We have a $5 million refi. I'm going to give you an example right now. We have a $5 million refi. This gentleman, his loan is resetting from 4.4%. On July 1st, it's resetting to 9%. Mm -hmm. Your, his NOI just did this and potentially negative. Comes to us, wants a refi. Currently, if you haven't read the news also, banks ain't doing it for loans. <laughs> Okay, it's alternative lending that's out there. And behind the scenes, there's probably 172 banks that we've um, talked to our sources. Our sources are Raymond James back in Florida. That's on the secondary market. They're telling us it's 172 to 170 banks that will be identified as insolvent. Insolvent means their balance sheets are a wreck. So um, having said that, that same $5 million deal, like we go to this gentleman today, this morning, we tell him, hey, listen, we could do your loan, but you have to, in order to close the refinance, you need to come in with $600,000, okay? Commercial real estate people, for the most part, they leverage debt. They get a loan, appreciate the building, and then they use that money and buy another building. That's just how it is. So what, so why am I telling you this? What does this gentleman want to do? He's like, Chris, okay, I'm not taking the reset at 9%. The refi loan you're offering me, I have to come in with money. I'm not going to do that. What's his option? Yeah, sell, sell. sell the building. He says, I want to sell the building. I need to 1031. Let me just take my equity and go somewhere else. My cash flow is going to be affected either way. Let me take that. My opinion is uh, my office is in LA County. We have an office in Vegas, Seattle, etc. But this market is controlled by very commercial. It is controlled by small number of people when it comes to commercial and the residential realtors in my opinion are leaving a lot of money on the table i've talked to you about this a lot of money on the table so having said that our message to you is get out there and get some skill sets there's going to be a lot of opportunities it's only beginning banks are pulling back the credit left and right small businesses are being affected um, obviously the cre guys are being affected um, keep your eyes keep your ears open We've got some training modules out there. If you need help, we can also come back and bring our team in here to assist with cap rates and all that good stuff. But we're not realtors. We're fi commercial finance people, and we strictly come from the commercial finance side. And if you guys need any evaluation stuff out there, um, we can also assist with that. So, again, if there's any questions, let me know. Chris Foster, The Foster Company. Thank you. We'll have to come back and teach you a class on how to do cap rates. Please. It's a level up to say yeah. this. Chris and I have worked on a couple of things. Chris, make sure that like he's very good on all he wants to do is the finance, and then he leaves the real estate stuff to whoever he's working with. So he's really good on that one. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Chris. Thanks for that horrifying information. Thank you. <laughs> leaving us pumped. All right, one seed, spill the bucket. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Once he's filled the bucket. Okay. Uh, we saw a, a listing yesterday at the open house brokerage, and Joey has stopped to get gas, so that they went back the other oh, to see it. And I just want to know if anybody is familiar with this building because when four of us went in there, we kind of were like, mm, this is not going to be great. And this unit was so stunning. It's 2,800 square feet for 1.3 million. Mm. It's 855 South Solano, 9005. And the building's called Chateau Chaumont. And it's an old building. So, yeah. Oh, you know, oh nice. But I, wow. I mean, I was so stunned that I want to go out. Really. What's the address again? 855 South Salon. Thank you, love. They and have the realtor in Koreatown? Yeah. And no, they're actually the realtor is from the agency in Pasadena. No, but the no, building is in Koreatown. 855 South Salon. Yeah, which is also a Hancock Park. So. Yeah, it's a sexy, it's a sexy, uh, yeah. It's Koreatown. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> it's, it's, it's not Hancock Park. It's Koreatown. <laughs> I don't use that word anymore. Is that easy? Got it. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Hot. Hot. Uh, what else? Who else has one sneeze? 
I said it's 2015. I want to say it. Tracy wants to go. Before I release you, anything? Anybody? Anybody? Thank you all for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Next week, we'll have our new agent uh, uh, services come and welcome him. Please. Yes. Bye, beautiful day.